Hi everyone, welcome to today's challenge. Today we have another math problem, another math challenge on the board. The question at first, when I saw it, I said this is not a problem at all because it's too simple, but this is giving, I just have to solve it. Okay, now if you're new here, this is all like math TV where we learn math practice all the time. I know you've subscribed, but if you've not subscribed, do so. And when you subscribe, hit the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever I drop an amazing video because at Online Math TV, we release powerful math solutions, ranging from Olipe to other entrance exams or competition exams. Okay, so let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. So the question is x to the power of two equal to two x plus x into the cube root of x minus two. What then will be the value? of x so the first thing we take first thing first according to steve arcavel okay so we take our solution now what i will do here is this this quantity containing the radicals i want to leave it on the right hand side then move only this to the right hand side so rewriting this this will now give us x to the power of two minus this is plus so it turns to minus 2x equal to our x into the radical, the cube root minus 2. Good. Now, if you look at this very well, something good is playing out here now. Here we are having x minus 2. Look at this. If I factor out x from here, x minus 2 will also play out here. So what I will do here is this. Instead of, you know, um, um, taking the cube of both sides, then I will factor x out here because we also have it x here. So this now gives us here x. If we use s to divide this, we're left with x. s to divide this minus 2 plus bracket is equal to x into your cube root of x minus 2. It is easy now. x is out here, x is out here. So these two leaves the system. So we are now left with your x minus 2 equal to the cube root of your x minus 2. Very easy. So like I said before now, that we are having this quantity s minus 2 inside this radical. So what we do? We bring in another alphabet or another quantity to represent this. So yeah, let's say let, let p, let's take p, let p be equal to x minus 2. Two. We can equally solve this straightforward how by taking the cube of both sides to eliminate this radical. If we do that, we are going to have a polynomial of third degree. Okay? But this, I believe, is quicker. So from here, we cannot rewrite this as our p equal to, here we have the cube root of our p. And we can rewrite this or straightforward. Let's take the cube of both sides to eliminate this guy here. So I put this in bracket to the power of three, put this in bracket to the power of three. So this leaves with this. So we now have p to the power of three is equal to p. Easy, move this to this side. So we have p to the power of three minus p equal to zero. Factor out p from here. So let's continue on this side. Like I told you, this is a very simple radical equation. So if we factor p out, this now implies our p into p to the power of 2 minus 1 equal to 0. But if we use p to divide this, it will give us p to the power of 2. There, yeah, left with minus 1. Okay, now let's go again. If you look at this, we apply what is called the zero product rule, whereby we equate this to 0, equate this to 0. So the first value of our p is equals to 0. That's our p1. Then let's solve what we have in here. So we have here p squared minus 1 equal to 0. Now, this is a, um, a quadratic equation whereby we are expected to solve for two solutions. So, so long this is unity, move this to this side of the equation. So we have p squared is equal to 1. Here we are looking for the real solution to this expression here. Okay, now we have infinite imaginary root from this solution, but we are restricted, okay, 
to only the uh, real root. So what we do here is simple. Then take the square root of both sides. Immediately you do that, plus minus comes in. So this, this leave the system. So we have our P is equals to plus minus one. So we have our P2 and P3 in here now. Now remember, at first we don't have P in the system. Look at our original equation. We don't have P there. So how come we have P here now? Recall we said at this point that let P be equal to X minus 2. So let's get the actual value for our X. So for case 1, we say when P, when P is equal to 0, which is our P1, what would be the value of X? So that will now give us here your X minus 2 is equal to 0. Then we now have x is equals to 2. This is the first solution x1 to this radical equation. All right. Now let's look at the other one. So when p, when p is equal to, let's take the positive part first. So how when p is equals to positive 1, then we're going to have our x minus 2 is equal to 1. Move this to this side. So we have x is equal to 1 plus 2. Therefore, our x 2 is equal to 3. So we'll solve for another value of x already. So this x. Okay, so we take the last case scenario. So let's continue on this side. So we have here when P is equal to minus 1. So we have our x minus 2 is equal to your minus 1. Send this to this again. So we have x is equal to minus 1, the plus 2. So x is equal to this, this will give us positive 1. So this is the third root to our, our, our radical equation. So in all, we have our x1. This is our x1, 2, s2, 3, the, our x3, uh, this s3, please, s3, positive 1. All right. All right, so this marks the end to this simple radical equation, okay? Although it's not all the time we rack our head in order to solve mathematics. At least this one, even in your sleep, you should be able to solve this. Thanks for being there. Despite the simplicity of this challenge, you still stay back, stick back to uh, uh, watch this video. If you learn something, however simple it is, give the video a thumbs up. And if you have uh, a better way of solving this, sorry that within 30 seconds or within two seconds, you get the answer, the three answer to this, drop it in the comment section. Do not forget to share this video with your friends, family members, and your colleagues. Remember, Jits loves you, and all of us at Online Mass TV loves you. Bye for now.